This goes on your bucket list. Good morning. I'm Dan Mason. And here's a look at the news this Monday morning. <clears throat> now, old, you... I'll try that again. <laughs> Those of you old enough to remember, uh, know the Volkswagen had a microbus. This was built upon the Volkswagen Beetle chassis. It was all the rage back in the 60s. You can see references to it in the movie Cars by Pixar. American fell in love with the Volkswagen Beetle, and the families loved the microbus, and the hippies too. Volkswagen has announced that they will be producing a Volkswagen electric microbus. However, due to production designs, there will be a delay in delivering the Volkswagen electric microbus. As a matter of fact, they indicate you won't see it on the roads till the year 2022. And I'm... Um, let's see, I don't, I don't know what was going to take longer, the existence of the electric microbus or the release of the new Incredibles movie. A uh, recent report, as you know, came out uh, indicating that Tesla has a market cap value of $60 billion. That's a billion with a B. Uh, but how is it that a company with a stock value of $355 selling vehicles for $100,000 when they can, um, that makes them larger than General Motors and Ford? Well, it's quite easy. You see, Tesla would have to raise about 20% of its revenue to make $80 billion over a seven-year period. That's basically $2.2 billion per year to get $11 to $12 billion in annual revenues. Uh, in 2016, revenues of $7 billion cost the company about $5 billion. So really, it's about $1.5 billion. Now, let's see. Now, they move up and they sell the Model 3 and spend down about a billion. That'll give them about $1.8 billion. Yeah, I think you have better luck putting your money into a lottery ticket. Right. NASA's Voyagers are now officially past our solar system in an area called the Helio Sheath. Uh, the two Voyager crafts have officially passed through this heliosphere. What is that you say? Glad you asked. Uh, it's actually the area of influence that our sun can produce from literally billions and billions of miles away. Uh, the two spacecrafts are officially outside that area. They know this to be true. To general consensus by the scientists because they actually see the influence of the magnetic fields that are produced and uh, picked up by the, spy, by the spacecraft themselves. Uh, I would just like to say I was not responsible. I, I did not put them outside the solar system. I wasn't there at the time. It wasn't me. You can't prove it. All righty. A couple aboard a Southwest airline flight were stopped and questioned yesterday due to their how do I put this delicately? Uh, activities on flight? Yeah, apparently the couple started engaging in what can be described as a sexual act. Uh, the flight crew asked the couple to dis discontinue their activities. They continued and later reported they were unable to control themselves. There were questions, no, no charges pressed. Um, I, just, I just have to ask, what, what in God's name are they putting into those peanuts? Oh, yeah, of course there's going to be a solar eclipse today. Uh, do me a favor. Do not look directly into the sun unless you have the special solar glasses uh, because you will go blind and that will probably ruin your whole day. Uh, British scientists have created the conditions that they would see in a black hole using a regular bathtub. Uh, they produced it in a bathtub using a special green light to show the light shutting off due to the extraction of energy as indicated and postulated uh, by Dr. Stephen Hawking bathtub. Yeah, it's amazing what these Brits will do for a little bit of attention. All right, last story. Uh, Representative Zoe Lofgren, a Democrat from California, proposed a bill this past Friday asking that Donald Trump undergo a physical and mental health examination to figure out uh, whether or not he's stable enough to maintain his office. Um, thereupon, they could invoke the 25th Amendment if necessary. Her question is whether or not President Trump is stable enough to be President of the United States. She points out that, what, you know, why can't he just condemn the Nazis? Uh, Donald Trump twittered back right away, Wait, Nazis? I thought you said Yahtzees. Anyway, that's the news I got for today, August 21st, 2017. Uh, I'm Dan Mason. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. Uh, make sure you share this with people. People don't know this is here. How sad is that? Uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. You take care. Bye, y'all.